Welcome to PA Timber Gears, another lovely Saturday morning. Currently I'm standing in Wiser State Forest in front of a deer enclosure. This is probably one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Um, this one encompasses quite a few acres. I find it in a few of these, there always seems to be deer hiding in here. They uh, find gaps in the fence or they jump over the fence. A lot of times you'll get trees that'll knock sections down and the deer will go in there and hide. It's hard to keep all the trees off the fence. There's a, there's some damage there where a tree limb landed on it. Purpose of the enclosure is to see what will grow back in the middle of it that the deer haven't eaten with to see how the forest recovers. Deer are part of the environment. They uh, actually keep things trimmed back and uh, keep a healthy forest. Let's read the sign here. Deer enclosure habitat demonstration area. Many people see a fence like this and think that animals live inside it. This one is actually designed to keep the deer out, but excluding deer, we have a chance to see what will grow if deer aren't there to eat it. Wildlife species need a variety of trees, shrubs, and wildflowers, vines, and other plants for good habitat. Deer overabundance mean, means that too many plants will be eaten, as the resulting forest will support less wildlife, including deer. What deer eat matters as much as the amount they eat. Summer and spring deer eat a variety of young hibiscus plants including wildflowers, graze in agriculture fields and on forest crops and acorns and beech nuts. Winter deer browse the buds found on the stems and branches of woody plants. Since these buds form the beginnings of next year's growth, overabundant deer populations stop the renewal of our forests. Deer actually keep the forest healthy but it's hard to uh, get a wildlife biologist to actually admit that. <clears throat> they uh, see the forest through their eyes and their eyes only. Unfortunately, deer hunters have a different perspective of deer biology as far as how many should be on the land. Currently in the southeast of PA, we have one to two deer per three square miles, not one. Uh, our deer herd is vanishing. And a lot of the areas are overgrown so thick that the sunlight does not reach the ground. And usually this is a select harvest You'll leave a lot of your oak trees up and uh, some foresters have told me they have to leave five up per acre this actually has more than five per acre this is probably 20 to 30 per acre which is a select harvest it's much better for the environment the treetops are still here they didn't pull anything out um, here's a door for the enclosure if you want to hunt in here there's a piece of wire here you can take that off and uh, you can actually hunt inside of here it's hard to get a, a controlled environment like this to stay controlled because trees will keep knocking the fence down. Or the deer will jump over here and just hide in the middle here during hunting season. So is this really a controlled environment? It is to a certain extent. You can control about 80% of what you on inside of here. Okay, let's take a look inside this enclosure. We'll go through the door here. It has a little piece of wire on it. And uh, we'll take a look in here. A lot of these enclosures usually have a latch on them so you can go in and out. If you're trying to get in an enclosure in the morning to go hunting and you uh, you bang this door, the deer are here coming for miles and uh, you'll never see them. They'll just run right around you. The door is usually just rebar. It has a hinge welded on it. And some support in the corner. Let's walk in here. This is a very large cut in here. All the treetops are still in here. Let's take a pan around here. We've got a lot of dead oak standing from the spotted lanternfly. Treetops are still here. Uh, we have lots of weeds, lots of ferns. There's a couple trees starting to uh, regenerate. We're not gonna check out the whole the whole timber harvest in here. But this is what it looks like inside. Uh, this area will stay like this for 10 to 20 years or until they get tired of uh, looking at this. Penn State has been doing the same thing and they've had an ongoing study of the deer damage to the environment and they have actually concluded that the deer are not the culprit of the environmental damage. The environmental damage is due to global warming which means that man is the culprit, not the deer. 
dear to me are the gardeners of the woods, but unfortunately deer biologists do not see that and neither do foresters. If you had a Lord's garden in your backyard, it was a mile square and you didn't prune or trim it or tie things up, what would happen to it? It would overgrow and it would become unusable just like the forest. If you remove the gardeners from the forest, then what will happen to it? It will become un overgrown and unusable to everything. Recently I heard a spotted lanternfly is not dangerous to the environment. Well, I, I totally disagree with that. You can see by the videos how many dead oak trees are in Pennsylvania. Uh, the spotted lanternfly is basically annihilating all the hardwoods in Pennsylvania. You can see all the dead trees here. <clears throat> if you go up to Boxcar Rocks, which I believe is State Game Lands 210, and uh, you walk through there, you can see the silent forest. What is a silent forest? A silent forest are all just dead trees standing upright. Don't believe science. Scientists are always have a habit of being wrong. Unfortunately, it takes them 50 years to realize that, and then they change their opinion. So, the enemy of the woods will always be man. How, you, how much timber do you take out? How many herbicides do you spray in the environment? All right, let's go back out the gate here. That's the end of this video. Thanks for coming along on this short video, Deer Enclosure, Wiser State Forest. Let me, let me know how you feel about this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. As always, hit that subscribe button, help my channel grow. Comments are awesome, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, PA Timber Goose.